This week's Ion MPI is from Challenge Electronics. Yes. Lady Ada, what is Ion MPI this week? I'm always excited to have a new company to feature on uh, Ion MPI. Not that I don't love the Maxims and the Analogs and the TIs, but I also like to support and promo the smaller companies. And Challenge Electronics, they make uh, you know piezos, speakers, boxes, enclosures, battery holders, and stuff. And they're in upstate New York. Oh, so, yeah. Well, they're in New York, at least. Um, so this week's Ion MPI is their series of waterproof battery holders. And check it out, it even says on it, waterproof battery holders. These are IP65 battery holders in a couple different configurations. Um, so we stock battery holders like this and the Adafruit shop. Um, you know, a lot of electronics these days are sealed, you know, rectangles with a built-in um, uh, light poly battery and charger. And um, that does make them, you know, usually less expensive, harder to mess up, but it also means it's really hard to change out the batteries. You know, if you, if you're, if you have an old phone and you have to change out the battery, you usually have to go to like a specialty place or you like put it in the microwave or like the heating thing in the microwave and remove it. But you know, if your product or project uses double A AA or triple A batteries, it's going to be a lot more field or user replaceable, which could be important. Um, also the leakage on an alkaline battery can be a lot lower than um, a light poly battery. So there, there are definitely times, and like lithium batteries work very well in cold temperatures. So there's, there's definitely times when um, alkaline batteries, or sorry, AA, AAA batteries are the way to go. Um, the only problem with these open battery cases is they're inexpensive, but it's easy for dust and moisture to get in. Um, and so this is actually a battery corrosion because the battery is corroded. I, I found this uh, photo on Flickr. Um, but um, the, the idea is similar, you know, water gets in, you've got these contacts, um, they're metal, there's metal on metal contacts, the, they get oxidized, um, they get damp, they get dirty, and then the batteries make um, bad connectivity. So not good. Also, usually the contacts are another way to get, um, you know, water into your electronics. So, you know, what if we had a battery case that was more waterproof? Um, so this is the CAB series. Um, they come in two times triple A, two times double A, and three times double A. All of them are IP65. Um, I'll show them on the overhead in a little bit, but they've got four screws, um, and they've got red and black cables coming out about six inches or eight inches there. And, um, you know, to remove the batteries, you unscrew it, but, you know, the whole thing is IP65, so it's, it's nice and durable, um, good for your dustproofness or waterproofness. And here is the ingress protection Ratings guide. So one thing to note is that um, IP65 is dustproof and good against jets of water, but it is not good for um, dunking underwater. So this isn't like for your pool, but this would be good for um, outdoor, uh, you know, uh, something that's in the weather, basically something that has rain, you know, jets of water coming at it. Um, let's say you make a, want to make a, a LoRa sensor node and you want it to transmit data only once in a while. You want a p battery powered off of AA or AAA so people can come by every month and uh, replace the batteries. It's, it's user or field replaceable. This would be a really good battery pack um, because it could be outside, uh, nicely protected, and um, very easy to open up when you need to access the batteries. Come in multiple sizes and... They're all in stock, so you can Available actually Available on DigiKey. Oh my gosh, things are in stock. This is what is the challenge for a lot of things when we want to showcase them on our shows now because one, sometimes they're really popular and not in stock. Sometimes it's our fault. People will say, I really want that, and then they buy them all up. But this yeah. time, we're, this is a, a new, new uh, company that we're spotlighting. Yes. So let's go to the overhead, and I'll show it off really quickly. Yeah. I just want to show... Um, how this is put together. So this is, I have one of each. Uh, this is the two AA and this is a three AA. Um, so you open it very easily. You just use a Phillips uh, screwdriver to open it up. I like the four screws because it really, um, I'll show the gasket inside. Um, this makes really good contact. And they're nice stainless steel machine screws as well. And then you can see here, there's this little rubber gasket so um, this part has a lip. You can kind of see here. There's this kind of. Uh, hold on, let me. It's tough to see because it's so small. Uh, there is like a little lip here, if you can see that. And oh, actually, it's a little easier to see on the bottom. See this little lip here? This little groove. 
This groove fits into um, this groove here, which has a rubber bit inside. Um, and it's a solid piece of rubber that goes all the way around. And that's what gives it that you know, protection. As long as you screw it down, um, the lip bites into the rubber and the rubber is what makes the seal. So um, if you're gonna get waterproof stuff or weatherproof stuff, make sure that it has a, a rubber gasket. Um, you know, it's not enough to just use, you know, plastic overlap. That's not uh, water jet or dust uh, safe, but these look very well made. Uh, really nice, good contacts. Good spring even says challenge on the inside. And if you need a custom sized one, um, they, they think they do their molding here in New York. They can probably hook you up. So quote them if you need a D cell or nine volt, or maybe you want four times AAA, um, they can make a custom one for you. Okay. And that's this week's INMPI. Hi, I'm MPI.